guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh and this is Working Man Reads. I thought I'd throw a little intro in here because the following video will be from TikTok, so it's going to be vertical. Uh, but I thought I actually was pretty concise with my thoughts and, and the book really doesn't deserve more than like a four minute video. So I was like, hey, let's just put that one up. But uh, this will be my following review for uh, Nothing But Pretentious Pros. No. Uh, nothing But Google Searches. No. Nothing But Black and Teeth. That, that book. Uh, so yeah, if you guys have read it, let me know down below. I'm just poking fun at it because I really hated it. It was the most disappointing book ever. Spoiler alert for, for my review. But I hope you guys enjoy my review or hate it. But YouTube took away the ability for you to show me in the dislikes. And uh, bring back the dislike button. I, I didn't mind it. But all right, guys, let me know down below what you thought. Bye. So what did I think about Nothing But Blackened Teeth? Well, I gave it one star, and I have multiple reasons for that. A quick synopsis of it is that a group of friends, I say that in quotations because they all have like love triangles and um, just drama in between each other, and they don't really seem to like each other very much. And you don't really, you're dropped into this, and you don't give a crap about the characters. So I would say that the character work in this was absolutely dreadful. Uh, the plot was that they are all going to this uh, haunted mansion in Japan for a wedding of their friends. And although it gives, you would think it'd be like a haunting of a hill house or like that drama where there's ghosts and, and it's in and steeped in correctly done Japanese folklore or uh, just just that. And that, that sounds terrifying. It sounds like a great ghost story. Perfect for most of us horror fans. But the horror is lost in the shoddy uh, character work and the over-the-top flowery prose. Uh, honestly, when you're writing prose, I would think in the naked eye or, or the novice reader might look at this and say, this is fantastic writing. And although the writer, the author is a, a talented writer, Sometimes you need to know when to pull back, and especially in horror fiction in a novella setting, uh, you don't need to be overly descriptive in the way that she was, uh, where everything is, is described. Uh, the, the shade of coffee that the character's drinking, the wall, the way that the light hits the wall, and then coming back to the wall. It was just way too much. It was, it was over the top, it was poorly done, poorly executed, and I really thought that it almost comes at me in a way where this author was taking anything on Wikipedia that's Japanese horror folklore or Japanese culture. And honestly, it, it came off kind of uh, pompous and arrogant that they were just throwing everything at the wall. Just here is every Japanese term I can find on Google. And <laughs> that pulls you out of the narrative because I'm finding myself searching things online multiple times a chapter. I don't mind reading a book and looking things up so that I can better educate myself as a reader and a person and learn more about a culture. But this person, it was over the top. It was too much. It was too much. So nothing but black and teeth was no fun to read. It was terrible with horror. It had a phoned in ending. And yeah, I know people are loving it and I'm probably going to get some hate on this video and that's great. I hope you love it. But to me, the best part of this book was the cover. 